Hello. My name is Simone Braga, for those listening to me for the first time. God bless you, mightily. Here you discover the mystery of the mighty verses from the book of Psalms. The Psalm 50 Does God need anything from us? Does the Creator of the world depend on the sacrifices and offerings of men to survive? Of course not. Asaph wrote Psalm 50 during the time of the law given through Moses on Mount Sinai when God required the Israelites to sacrifice animals and offer the products of their fields. But, as God says in this hymn, these offerings were not to sustain the Lord, for he never depends on the gifts of men. For all the forest animals are mine and the beasts by the thousands on the mountains. I know all the birds of the mountains, and all the animals that swarm, live, NAA, in the field are mine. If I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you because the world is mine and how much is contained in it. By chance, how do I meet from bulls? Or do I drink goat blood? Verses 10 to 13 But this psalm does not start with this question. Behind God's comments about sacrifices and offerings is an essential fact that everyone should consider. Psalm 50 begins with describing the omnipotent God as a judge. The first six verses of this hymn highlight his universal sovereignty, his glorious holiness, and his wrath in the judgment of men. What hope would man have before the power of this judge? Could you please God through sacrifices? God had taught the concept of offering gifts to the Lord from the time of the first human family, for Abel acted by faith and was approved by God when he made a pleasing sacri sacrifice. Hebrews 11.4, Genesis 4.4 4. In the time of the patriarchs and throughout the time of the law given through Moses, God required sacrifices and offerings. It was fitting, even necessary, for the servants of God at that time to offer their animals, grain, etc. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, All Faith Theory. I kindly ask you to do it because it will help our channel, and the YouTube algorithm will understand our content is reasonably suitable for hearing. Please click on the bell, and leave your comments. I would also like you to pass this audio on to your friends, as everyone will have the opportunity to listen to our new content. First and foremost, our mission is to pass the predominant thing, the Lord's words. Psalm 50 is Psalm of Asaph. The Mighty One, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent, a fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above, and the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me my consecrated ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against you, I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, 
which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens. For every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thank offerings to God, fulfill your vows to the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked, God says, What right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instruction and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him, you throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You speak continually against your brother and slander your own mother's son. These things you have done and I kept silent. You thought I was altogether like you. But I will rebuke you and accuse you to your face. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces, with none to rescue. He who sacrifices thank offerings honors me, and he prepares the way so that I may show him the salvation of God. Pray with me, our Father, with great faith. Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God will bless your victory mightily. Now repeat after me, Glory to Lords and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I love you all, thank you all for listening. In the name of God, please subscribe to the channel. God bless you forever. Goodbye.